In today's episode, we delve into the remarkable efforts of Farhan Musk's company, SpaceX, to enhance satellite broadband accessibility for people in remote areas. Their innovative Starlink technology has already launched numerous satellites into space. Approximately 3,580 Starlink satellites are orbiting the Earth, providing internet access to 32 countries. However, this number is set to increase significantly as SpaceX plans to reach an impressive 12,000 satellites by 2026. This makes Starlink the most ambitious satellite communication project ever undertaken, causing even China to feel threatened by its advancements. In response to SpaceX's Starlink, China has its sights set on launching almost 13,000 satellites to counter its influence. The question arises, how does China plan to surpass SpaceX and is such an achievement even feasible? We explore these intriguing developments and more in today's episode. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press that bell icon. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. China is gearing up for a significant endeavor to counter and monitor SpaceX's Starlink constellations. Their plan involves launching nearly 13,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. While the number of satellites may seem astounding, it is becoming less surprising as such initiatives gain momentum. However, these satellites are not flawless as astronomers can attest to, with their reflectivity causing disruptions to their data. Nevertheless, these satellites' potential benefits in expanding internet coverage and improving global communication efficiency cannot be ignored. It is understandable why China wants to join this technological race. The project, known as GW and overseen by a newly formed entity called China Satellite Network Group Company, aims to deploy 12,992 small satellites in to orbit swiftly. This ambitious number would surpass Starlink's current fleet of approximately 3,500 satellites. However, it is worth noting that SpaceX has plans to have 12,000 satellites in orbit by 2027 and eventually aims for a total of 40,000 satellites circling the Earth. China's sense of urgency is pursuing this project stems from its determination to prevent Starlink from monopolizing the low Earth orbit and restrict restricting the presence of other companies or nations in that space. The researchers at Beijing's People's Liberation Army's Space Engineering University, affiliated with the China Satellite Network Group Company, have expressed their goal of securing China's position in the low orbit. According to the South China Morning Post, they aim to ensure that Starlink's constellation does not excessively dominate the low orbit resources. They aim to create opportunities and advantages for China at various orbital altitudes and even potentially diminish the influence of Starlink. The China Satellite Network Group Company has asserted their intention to track and potentially disable Starlink satellites using their own constellations. Researchers within the group have raised concerns about the maneuverability of Starlink satellites, suggesting that this capability could be utilized for targeting and destroying other space objects. China aims to match this potential by by launching its fleet of satellites. With increasing concerns about the military implications of Starlink satellite constellations, particularly in relation to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, China seeks to identify and monitor each Starlink satellite's movements. To support this objective, researchers from the Space Engineering University have proposed the establishment of an international anti-Starlink coalition. This coalition would collectively call for SpaceX to disclose the precise locations of its satellites to the public. However, since this information is not currently available, China's most viable option for tracking Starlink is to deploy its satellites into orbit. A long March 5B rocket will be employed with a Wanchang 2 second stage to achieve China's subjective of monitoring and suppressing Starlink. This rocket will be launched from the Wenchang spaceport in the country country's coastal region in the latter part of this year. Well, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC, which serves as the primary space contractor in China, announced earlier in March that the new Long March 5B configuration including the upper stage, will be utilized for launching satellites for a LEO satellite network. In the meantime, CASC's main division responsible for rocket production is preparing the long
long March 5V rocket for a high-density launch phase. This preparation aims to meet China's requirements for large-scale and swift access to space. It involves scaling up the production of kerosene liquid oxygen engines necessary for the launch vehicle's side boosters. Previously, the long March 5E rocket launched China's three modules directly into orbit to construct the Tiangong space station. However, with the addition of the YZ-2 upper stage, the rocket's capabilities expand to include the injection of multiple satellites into different orbits. In previous launches, the rocket's first stages, measuring around 30 meters in length and weighing approximately 23 tons when dry, underwent high-profile, uncontrolled re-entries after reaching orbital velocity. It remains uncertain whether using the YZ-2 upper stage will enable the first stage to remain suborbital and land within a specifically designated area. In early March, the State Administration of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense released a notice concerning the management of civil space launch projects. The notice emphasizes that the final stage of a launch vehicle must adhere to regulations and be deorbited after implementing passivation and other necessary measures. Furthermore, satellites and spacecraft should be actively deorbited once their designated operational lifespan, as specified in their license, comes to an end. The notice highlights several Chinese commercial launch companies that have expressed their intentions to secure contracts for the Guo Wang project. As a result, newer companies in the industry have focused on developing medium and large launch vehicles at earlier stages of their development. The emergence of commercial launch companies in China following a policy shift in 2014 initially focused on developing light-lift launchers, targeting contracts from private and commercial entities seeking to access space. China now focuses on the Guo Wang project and the recently completed Tian Gong space station as potential opportunities for commercial space companies. The country's efforts to initiate the Guo Wang project have been under consideration for a few years. In 2020, China filed applications for 13,000 satellites with the International Telecommunication Union in Geneva as highlighted by Space News. Recognizing the significance of satellite internet for China's infrastructure, the capital city Beijing established the China Satellite Network Group in 2021. This month, the China Satellite Network Group agreed with Shanghai, although the specific details of the deal remain unclear. While these academic papers and proposals are prevalent among Chinese academics, it's important to note that they currently exist only in the realm of ideas and sketches on paper. Whether China possesses the necessary resources and capabilities to execute such a large-scale project is a separate question altogether. Unlike SpaceX, China does not not possess a reusable rocket akin to the Falcon 9, which significantly enables SpaceX's ambitious plans. If China attempts to disable some of the Starlink satellites, Elon Musk and SpaceX could potentially counter by launching additional Starlinks into orbit. One crucial aspect to consider is how satellite operators worldwide will manage the increasing volume of space traffic. Since 2019, SpaceX has been steadily launching Starlink satellites with the current operational count nearing 4,000 units. In contrast, analysts estimate that China currently operates only several hundred LEO satellites that will reach a count of 4,000 by 2027. In 2022, SpaceX and China matched each other with 61 launches, but SpaceX delivered more payload mass to orbit. Moreover, SpaceX is planning to triple its launch mass in 2023. The successful development and deployment of the fully reused Super Heavy Starship by SpaceX would significantly boost their launch rate and payload capacity, potentially increasing it by 10 to 1,000 times. If SpaceX receives full support from the U.S. government, they may obtain expedited approvals for next-generation satellites. China could not match the scale of SpaceX's 100,000 or 1 million Starlink satellites until they developed fully reusable rockets. Well, what do you think? Please feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, before you go, do take a moment to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Elon Musk news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.